Hi, my name is Matt, and welcome to Articulate Style. It's our focus and our intention to provide not only a cut that you're comfortable with, but something that you can leave our salon feeling proud of, feeling relieved that it was our salon that you chose or all the many infinite other choices you could have made for us it's absolutely key and paramount that when our client requests something a length a style a look that we're able to deliver on that how many times in your life have you walked into a stylist and specifically said, don't take too much. Please give me this and please give me that. And instead of giving you what you've asked for, they overrule your opinion with their own because they think they know better. And in some cases, maybe they do. But we have an idea of what we want. In articulate style, we help you to deliver that. To realize it. And yes, we're still talking about... Uh, cutting hair. <laughs> Please take a seat in our outrageously comfy chairs. It's something else that we pride ourselves in and we'll get started. Before um, we talk about uh, your objectives and, and kind of what you'd like from this session, I thought to maybe um, give you a, a quick rundown of what we'll be providing in a typical cut. First thing is we treat the hair with a an oil-based serum that is mostly a vitamin B substrate. It's been mixed with a little bit of vitamin A, um, and there are numerous benefits. Applying and treating your hair not only encourages growth. It discourages hair loss and reduces split ends, which, depending on the length of your hair, may or may not be a problem. But we'll treat the hair. We'll also provide um, entirely free of charge a scalp check, something that we're all trained in. We don't expect to see, uh, and typically almost never find anything on toward, but it's reassuring to know. And Occasionally, people find it quite relaxing. Scalp checks are performed with a very particular brush, or rather, a particular comb. Parting is made, and we work our way down the parting, inspecting, and assessing. Having a healthy scalp, again, promotes healthy hair. Think of your, your scalp as um, the bed of earth that uh, plants would grow from. But instead of cultivating plants, it's uh, hair follicles. Either way, the foundations uh, in which our hair grows from is important. I'm here to help you take care of it and nourish it. And then, of course, we'll uh, proceed to the actual trim itself. We're cutting with uh, our Feng Pass scissors. And Feng Pass is a product that we believe in and have been working with for years and years, even before I started working here at the salon. Okay. We also recognize that there, at least we feel, there should be an emphasis on relaxation. You may or may not be aware of a fairly new trend called ASMR. That is essentially a physical response to uh, certain physical stimuli, such as having your hair cut. 
and whether or not you experience ASMR, which just feels like a vibration in the back of your head, whether you experience it or not, typically clients enjoy the effort we put in to again cultivating that ASMR sensation. So again, lean back into our chair, let the chair support your weight. Let the chair do the work for you. We work all day and all night, sometimes. Our minds are always working. That we are entitled to some time off, some TLC. Let the chair work for you. Let me work for you. Let us collectively provide you with a most executive and premium service you've ever had. All right, I'm gonna grab you some water, some coffee before we start. Okay? Now, we'll be applying the serum with a lightly moistened paintbrush, actually. The hair will be combed out. I'll be taking it between two fingers and just painting in an upward motion toward the root. If you can talk to me about what kind of length you would like to see. Okay. Not too much off, but something a little bit different. Something interesting, but without dying. Are you thinking more corporate or quite casual? Your hair styled. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. We're all about taking our time with everything emphasizing the need for precision realizing that we are in no rush just brushing through the air creating that time to ensure perfection creativity and satisfaction again this is an in-house serum, oil base, vitamin B constraint. Vitamin B has long been the gold standard for hair treatment. Lovely viscous. Now I just need you to sit carefully, quietly. You can. Close your eyes, if you wish. And just listen slowly, quietly. Good. Immediately, 
bonding to the serum. Your hair looks beautiful. You look very handsome, very amazing, but your hair is a little bit on the dry side because it's absorbing the serum. It's a little bit hungry, as we all are. We all get hungry. But we want to make sure that we don't soak the hair with the serum. It's meant to sit on the surface of the follicle and it's absorbed. Good. right from root to tip. Root to tip. Good. 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 Wonderful. Just a touch more. key with working serum into the hair is to never saturate, never overdo it. Combined with the oil seems to translate to the most beautiful but very subtle scent. Excellent. Allowing the serum to be absorbed, to really penetrate the hair follicle. I will check your scalp. And again, here we're really just looking at the parting. And we're just lifting the hair. Scalp, at least in your parting line, has no redness, no flakes. Um, check the back a little bit. Good. Just checking the hairline here. Typically, um, how often do you wash your hair? I know that can be a little bit of a loaded question for some people, but just uh, on the average, average week. Okay. Nope, that's fine. Um, there are multiple theories 
and washing hair too much and um, washing hair uh, not often enough and some of the theories are based on people that just don't like washing a lot of hair so they stipulate that too much washing is actually bad for the hair so when they walk around with greasy hair it's justified um, but <laughs> that's, that's sounded I was throwing some shade no shade to be had here um, hair is uh, typically very resilient uh, unless we're you know attacking it constantly with colors and um, recolors uh, and this is a little bit um, it's objectively appetizing but the hair that, that you see on your head is actually already dead um, so the idea of, of damaging it further while definitely exists, uh, is harder to do than you might think. You've got to treat it with some pretty tough chemicals to start breaking hair. And of course, some hair breaks easier than others. But um, the idea that they're this delicate flower that we have to, um, you know, feed them water every day is a bit of a fallacy. Um, I typically wash my hair five, five days a week. Um, a weekend, maybe I miss one. Um, sometimes six. I wouldn't advise against washing it twice a day. That's a little bit excessive, but anything between you know, seven, five, it's good for me. Whatever you're doing works because your scalp is thanking you for it. I would recommend never washing with really hot water. Not so much for the hair, but for the scalp and even your skin. The uh, upper epidermis does not the upper epidermis doesn't typically appreciate hot water for very long. Your mind does in the shower. You're like, oh, this is beautiful. But the skin won't thank you as much for it. Okay. I think this scalp looks good. I'm happy with it. All right. I'm just going to brush through. Here with uh, quite a tight little comb. Again, we're just brushing through that serum. thing is too much for us today. You've taken time out of your life to come and see us. And we're going to take the time as the Merovingian said in the Matrix 2, I think in order for us to have time, we need to take time. Meaning our lives are our own. If you don't take some time for yourself, nobody can take it for you. You have taken the choice, or made the choice and taken the time to come to articulate style. I'm sure that Here. The hair's looking good. I'm a little bit surprised how quickly it has absorbed the oil, but it's definitely happier for it. Okay. Now, we reach for the Before we start cutting, I'll just put a quick covering, save your lovely top, getting lots of hair cuttings.
interest of sanity and safety. Each of our customers receives their own covering. It's just simple fabric. simple. The two felt tie straps. Not too tight. Of course, I'm a seasoned professional. <laughs> All right, you're comfortable. You're hydrated. Your hair's looking shiny and receptive. You're smiling and looking deeply relaxed, which makes me very happy. Okay, let's. Um, Get you tidied up. A simple water with a slight infusion of a rose petal. Not only does it add a gentle fragrance to the air, but the hair actually uh, usually works and corresponds quite well with rose water. your eyes. stack of these things. Brand new thing past shears. Excellent. Let's get started. sharpness that slightly almost vibrated noise this is a very slight serration on the blade now, these aren't pinking shears but if you can make that out very very slight and it just gives the hair the most subtle look to it. Almost imperceptible until it isn't there. Then 
all of a sudden it's like, hey, my hair looks different. It's one of our many secrets that I've just divulged. Essentially cutting very well. Just check the fringe or the bangs. Wonderful. Good. I do have a bit of a party trick that I can actually cut with both hands. This takes ultimate trust, and I would never even attempt it. But go ahead and try. Okay. Okay. This actually takes enormous concentration. is actually cutting here. It's the rhythm that we get into. I first learned this from my barber a long time ago. Good look. And these actually are slight pinking. Just adds a little bit of a crimp. Good. And I need a bit of fine detailing cut here. So I'm afraid I have to go back to the single scissor. Scissors rather. a tiny little bit from your fringe. It's just not quite where we want it to be. We want absolute perfection in here. That didn't work. So now here we're going to be taking a tiny, 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 tiny little snips. Tiny, tiny snips. Excellent. Okay, now if I do say so myself, I think the that is a good look. That is a good look. It didn't take. 
take long to cut because I don't have quite as much hair as some of our clientele do but your hair is extremely manageable and responded very well to the serum even to the, the rose petal water um, mm -hmm. okay so what we're going to do now we're going to style it um, maybe something like mine maybe not quite as no new metal fringe but um, something a little bit more corporate something catwalk whatever you feel like walking out of our store today you can walk in as one person and walk out GQ model who am I kidding you're already a GQ model or a folk model alright now, I typically like to use hairspray as opposed to uh, clay putty or uh, styling mousse. It's personal preference. We use seals. Again, typically, all I ever use uh, 48 mega stronghold. Now, it looks and dries. Dry look. I've never been a huge fan of wet look. Um, but that's personal preference. If you want me to style with a wet look, no issue. Um, but what I will do, give your hair a light covering of hairspray, and I'll use the tongs, what I call the tongs. It's actually, uh, favorite appliances that we use we apply the hairspray and then we're poking the tongs between the hair so it doesn't look too fine it builds volume again my fringe is probably a bad example because uh, I'm not as anywhere near as attractive as you are but you get the idea and we can add a bit of volume all the way around the hair. Let's cover your eyes again. those final two sprays like a, a finishing hold the initial sprays give us a, a working base here that becomes manageable with some rigidity and some structure and texture good good very good Magnificent, actually. I do say so myself. Yeah. 
to bring things to a close, we like to finish with a very delicate shoulder massage, not touching the hair, but again it allows you just to sit back, the work is done, you can see the result, you love the look, now you can just enjoy the rest of the experience, enjoy this window in time where you have zero responsibility, no worries. size amount of a Bavolgari masseuse cream for the neck and just a bit of the shot just underneath okay it's beautiful that smell is fresh cotton I'm just reason we incorporated the shoulder and neck massage into the treatment was because typically this is something that barbers do and we thought why not incorporate it to our hair salon again it's relaxation centric and we're just working the tension out of those shoulders wonderful wonderful just really Let's take the massage down each side of your arms, working with thumb and forefinger mostly, a little bit of the palm. We'll take it down to the fingertips. Good. Fold them over your chest, like so. Now you can keep your eyes closed or open them. But we'll just take these last five minutes and focus on a little bit, just a little bit of meditation.
style.